You may have just finished watching the two videos I had on here that showcase the NYPD vehicles or New York City Police Department vehicles that I had. Well, in this video, not to leave the firefighters out, of course, we're going to take a look at the FDNY or Fire Department of New York vehicles that I have, also all in 164 scale. Now, the four fire apparatuses that you see, two here and two here, although they may look like Code 3 models, they are in fact not. They're made by a company called Americom, which is a substantially less expensive and good alternative for those of you that just want some fire vehicles in your collection that look halfway decent. Starting off over here, this is Squad 61, which is a 2003 Seagrave truck. And yes, the Real Life Squad Company 61 does have this outstanding memorial tribute painted on it for the 343 firefighters that were lost on September 11th. Now, the general rule of thumb, and it, again, it does vary slightly from um, fire department to fire department, from city to city, state to state, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but there are usually two or three primary types of fire vehicles that you'll find. This is what's known as an engine or a pumper, and its primary duty is to put the fire out, put water on the fire, um, and extinguish it. However, this particular truck, Squad 61, is more of a hybrid between a rescue vehicle and an um, engine. Um, but again, in layman's terms, basically this vehicle primarily would put out the fire. This truck, known as the Ladder Company, or simply the Truck Company, is an aerial ladder truck, specifically a 2001 Seagrave rear-mounted aerial ladder. Uh, this truck's crew's primary, primary responsibility, of course, would be to go into the fire, find people who are trapped, and rescue them and bring them out. Um, there are several different types of ladder trucks. As I mentioned before, this is what's known as an aerial rear mount ladder. This is the most common type of ladder truck. But there are also some tower ladders that you will still see, and also some tiller units. Uh, the tiller trucks, of course, are the big semi-tractor-trailer um, type, type trucks that bend in the middle. Uh, San Francisco comes to mind as a fire department that still utilizes and loves their tillers. This truck, obviously the real one, 43 truck, is based in, if my camera would focus please, Spanish Harlem, as you can briefly make out there. And uh, I guess it's a little bit better to see here on... There we go. A little bit better to see here on the back, Spanish Harlem. The outriggers, this right here, are non-functional on this model. But, of course, in the real world, they would support the weight of the truck while the aerial ladder is in use, much like a mobile crane. The last, and the third and final, I should say, um, type of rescue or fire vehicle that you would see and most fire departments have is what's known as the rescue truck. This is Rescue One. Um, there are five different rescue trucks or rescue companies that New York City has, one in each of the five boroughs. Rescue One reports to all working fires, major incidents, things like that in uh, Manhattan. And this is a 2002 E1 rescue truck mounted on a Salisbury body. Again, generally speaking, rescue companies are kind of the A-team or the special operations of firefighting. Most firefighters strive to be on a rescue team. The reason for that is they are highly trained, highly motivated, and they are very diverse. One day they could be rescuing somebody... Um, from a burning building. The next day they could be rescuing uh, a drowning victim or a vehicle that's submerged in water. And the next day they could be responding to a terrorist incident or, you know, a chemical or gas leak. Really, these guys are the jack of all trades. Speaking of gas leaks, this is a specialty fire truck. This is a hazmat operations truck. Hazmat is short for hazardous material, which is kind of self-explanatory, but this truck would go out to calls of, you know, gas spills or anything that's potentially um, deadly or dangerous to human or environmental health. This is a Mac 1991 Mac truck, again, mounted on a Salisbury rescue body. So, there are the trucks. Quickly finishing up here with the uh, cars, if you will. These are, all three of these are made by Green Light. This is a 1976 Dodge van, a hazmat van. A 2014 Ford Explorer Interceptor. This is an EMS first response vehicle. Nice piece. And again, because my camera sucks, you can't really make that out. But on the back, it has the um, newer style New York plate, which is very cool to see. 
And finally, a 2008 Ford Crown Victoria. Again, you've seen this before in NYPD colors, but this is a chief or battalion chief car. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed kind of a, a break from normality here on Diecast Emporium looking at uh, emergency service vehicles. If you guys have any questions or uh, any requests, anything you want cleared up, let me know in the comments below. But until then, stay tuned to the next video, guys. As always, take care.